According to the Centers for Disease Control, in the U.S., about one in four adults aged 65 and older report falling down each year. This results in about 36 million falls, which can be dangerous but preventable. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with Tina Denari, Clinical Coordinator of Injury and Prevention at the Queens Medical Center. Good morning, Tina. How are you doing this morning? I'm great. Thanks for having me this morning. Now, first off, Tina, how dangerous can falling down be, especially for older adults? So, you know, according to the CDC, um, around 3 million older people are treated in the emergency departments for falls, and over 800,000 are hospitalized um, in the ho are hospitalized because of a fall injury. Now, with that being said, at the Queens Medical Center or Level 1 Trauma, we see many traumatic injuries um, related to falls, and that can be, that can include, but not limited to, traumatic brain injuries, it can be brain hemorrhages, and it can be broken bones, which can lead to long, a very long rehabilitation. There are also things that we have to think about for our Kapuna in regards to medications. Some medications that they can take can make them dizzy, which increases fall risks as well as they can take blood thinners. So after a fall, the blood thinners can really increase the risk of bleeding. So they need to absolutely follow up with their physician or the emergency department. Falls can also be fatal, unfortunately. And those that aren't fatal, again, can lead to a very um, long road to recovery. And, so, and one last thing that I really um, want to emphasize is that these individuals can have fall-related anxiety after their injury and it can limit their everyday activities so it's something to think about now at queens how big of a problem is falling so as a level one trauma center our data does show that fall is the leading cause of injury among trauma related mechanisms now with that being said we see falls here daily at the queens medical center and it's really important to remember that falls occur often and they can occur in the home and they can occur when you're just out walking. Also for us, I, I really wanna emphasize the impact that fall related injuries have um, not only on the individuals themselves, but also on the family members. And unfortunately, some of our Kapuna can't always go back to their living situation. Um, before environmental adjustments are made in the home. And that could, that could mean bringing down um, the bedroom to the ground floor so they don't have to get up, you know, walk up the stairs or putting in uh, grab handles in the bathroom for that extra safety. Now for caregivers, what can they do to limit the chances of a loved one falling at home? Ross, that's a great question. First of all, caregivers are essential. And some things that they can do um, are remove hazards around the house. And with that being said, I, I talk about loose rugs. We all have rugs in the house. But what we can do um, to help prevent falls is using that double-sided tape or that non-slip backing on their rugs so that the uh, that Kapuna don't trip when they're walking over them. Another great suggestion is providing um, the living space, uh, lighting it up, having it bright so that the Kapuna can see, especially at nighttime. I always suggest having a night light or some type of light that's next to their bed that they're able to turn on so they can see when they need to get up. And one other thing I think a great suggestion is for our Kapuna, the things that they use in their everyday life. Having those objects or those things at waist level or at a or on the lower shelves where they're able to access this now with that being said i do want to say if they are storing medications please store the medications safely and properly especially if you have cakey in your home now i understand that queens is offering classes on how to manage falls can you talk a little bit about that Thank you, Russ. Yes. Um, so in partnership with our Rehabilitation Services Department here at the Queens Medical Center, we're offering a virtual class called Matter of Balance. Now, this class is evidence-based for our Kapuna and provides information to reduce that fear of falling by teaching them that falls are preventable. Now, the Matter of Balance class really promotes setting goals for increasing activity levels and making those small changes to reduce those risks at home so that you don't fall. 
The class that we are offering is starting on July 29th. It is an eight week course and we offer a two hour class once a week, again, starting on Thursday, July 29th. And you can, anybody can get a hold um, of our referral line at 691-7117 for any information in regards to our Matter of Balance class. All right, to learn more about the services provided by the Queen's Trauma Injury Prevention Program, you can call 691-7059, that's 691-7059, or you can go to www queens.org and click on emergency and trauma all right thank you very much tina denari thanks for joining us this morning and have a great day thank you ross i appreciate it